What do we have here? Hey guys, welcome to another video here with Queen City Reefs and more. So today as you saw we got a package. Um, let's open it and then I'll tell you all about it. Here is the package from Algae Barn. I don't know if I told y'all this on one of my previous videos or not, I don't really think so. But I have Aptasia in my Red CE 260 upstairs in my bedroom. A lot of it. Now they're all babies, they're all small, a lot of them are small. I actually had caught a few and did a Aptasia X to about 12 of them. Um, I had a feeling that it may come back or that it wasn't over or there was some there. But as many as I saw as I was doing Aptasia X, um, I was making sure to feed them with Aptasia X. And uh, after a few weeks, now I see babies everywhere. So what I did instead was do some research on peppermint shrimp and I know that there's different variants of peppermint shrimp that people normally will get for Aptasia. And so on Algae Barn, I saw that they had some that they breed themselves there. Um, so figured uh, that's a good thing for me because that means not only that, that they know what species it eats Aptasia, I'm hoping, right? We'll see, uh, but also uh, that it's in a clean facility with uh, no parasites or anything like that so I can just put them in there so let's get to opening this box all right let's see where is my handy dandy knife every time I look for this thing I don't know where I put it but we have scissors so what I ordered were three different peppermint shrimp bottles. I tried to get the one that said four or six or something like that, but they only had available the ones that came in packs of threes. Why is that? I have no clue. Why can't they just add one from the other bottle to the other one? Again, I have no clue, but what did come free with this was Nano Brine Shrimp. And if you take a look here, you know what, let's put this to the light. You can see all those little free swimmers swimming around. The only problem is that I don't have an issue with any of the current fish that I have on feeding them. So these would be perfect when you you have those finicky fish that go after live foods. I hope you were able to see that there. I, I saw that it didn't, you know, um, zoom in as much. But, let's see what else we have here. I think we're supposed to have three in here. And I only saw one. There's two, there's three. Oh, there they are. There are the peppermint shrimp. Three of them in this one bottle. And there is three of them in here. Wow. They all look very mobile. They are alive. And on a second note, I actually used the code from Farm Boy Reef. Um, if you go to his channel, he mentions it on there what code to use. And you get, I want to say, a 15, 10 or 15% off which is better than nothing. I need some shrimp here that uh, will eat up Tasia because I have a lot of it on the other tank. So I figured six of them, you know, would do the trick, hopefully. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and go float these things over there. So here is a tank and I just ended up dropping them on top of here, maybe for a good 30 to 45 minutes. Um, here's a look at my tank and what it's looking like right now. 
Let's see if I can zoom in on some of this Aptasia. See that guy right there? And you can see. You can see them all over. I mean, it's not as bad as maybe I made it sound, but I mean, you can. It doesn't take a long time for you to look and find them. You see that guy right there? You see them all over the place. Just for me showing you here, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to spot some. Be able to see a few right there. And there's one in that little corner right there of the rock. So, no major updates on this tank other than, uh, you know, the skimmer's been cleaned. It's actually been pulling a lot out since then. Uh, this is one of the problems that I have. When I feel like I have it tuned in right, I actually hadn't noticed until right now. There goes the ATO working. Have that that way, that way it doesn't touch the water and then I'll go back when it's done. You know, siphon. Here's the sensor and the other device. But when I feel that I have it tuned in right and, and a lot of it comes out, then out of nowhere, then it stops foaming up and I can stop messing with it and I can start messing with it to get it back to the mid part of the cup or I leave it alone and in a few days it goes back to foaming up again. So, not sure what's up with that skimmer in that regard. Um, I definitely, it definitely annoys me. I wish it would just produce on a consistent basis. And again, I don't have a lot of fish in here so I know that's probably going to be another reason why um, no fish. So, why would it produce so much, right? There's two Ghanis. There's another one right there. These are dead corals. <laughs> SPS is still not my forte, guys. There's one there. There's another one there. Those are still alive. These two guys are still alive. That guy right there is still alive, but it's not as green as it once was. Torches are doing great. Duncans are doing great. They're getting blasted, so I'll have to adjust the uh, the pump. There's a lobo back there. The long tentacle coral plate is not as fluffy, and and the tentacles are not as long as they used to be. So I'm not sure what's going on there. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Alright, it's been well over an hour. You can see in there, there's those little guys. And then here is the other guys. We'll start with these. Oh wow, even this one comes sealed. Guys did pretty well. And there was one right here. And there goes another guy swimming right under here. There he goes. Like bye bye. Okay. Here's the next one.
Oh, looks like one did not take well. Hmm. To be honest, I don't even know if I noticed if it was alive or not. I just saw three of them, but we didn't pay attention to see if they were movements. And then this guy right here is the goner. Goner. All right. We'll go put this guy into the anemones. All right, guys. Well, that makes it for this video today. Um, just a quick update on the algae barn. I know a lot of times there's times that people will mention things that they've ordered. I thought you wanted to say something. That's why you were standing right here. I know. I wanted to say the last part. Oh, <laughs> she wants to say the last part. Um, now you may forget where I was at. So, again, just a video on Algae Barn, their delivery. I've uh, never had issues with them. I've ordered pods from them before. Now, I'll be completely honest. I feel that some of their stuff is expensive. Uh, I feel that in a way, it's worth it though because they have clean facilities according to what I've been told and what I've read. And you know, uh, you could trust putting these things straight into your tank, I would say. I have and nothing has ever uh, happened from it. Um, but. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. Oh. Okay, say it like you mean it. Oh. Or they're never going to subscribe. Subscribe.